Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Sorry I've been gone so long. Oh my gosh, you have no idea, it's been crazy. Hopefully my phone will work, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go quick because my phone has not been giving me a lot of time, so let's just get into it. So today, your numerology is this, four plus one is five, plus four is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yes, today's the 14th, but numerology is also 14 which four plus one is five, breaks down to a five. Aries, you are represented in um, this reading as a one. That is your number um, for Aries. So one, um, that represents you. So whenever you see a one at, when I'm reading your cards, that's you. Mars is your planet. It's representing your drive, okay? Your goals, your drive. Um, one in seven, your personal or your new personal growth. Um, seven and one is eight. So this is what you're trying to manifest. Okay. And then fire is your element change in action. 23, which breaks down to five. So we have five and five, five and five is adventure. Lots of change, change going on. And then we have one and another one down here. One and one is 11. 11 is individuality. So this is really all about you and the numbers. When you break down all the numbers, they all come back to 11. Um, and then we have your house is one. That's yourself. This The number one house is self. And also here um, uh, we have nine and we have two sixes. So this is about complete healing, complete healing. So I did write compassion, but it's really more about, see how I have healing here? It's more about healing, complete healing. Um, five and six, that's a relationship change. In your case, Aries, this is what I'm feeling. This relationship change is more about within yourself. This is you changing in within yourself. So your relationship change with yourself is changing with your spirit. You're becoming a calmer and more patient spirit. Your personal growth, um, you've grown a lot, um, over these last few months, um, You've manifest this. Okay, so there is your board. Now these numbers are gonna be coming up um, 1156. So we're gonna keep an eye out for these numbers and one also. All right, so let's get into it with numerology. Let's get our cards out as always. I just let the cards fall where they may. Whatever cards stick up are the cards that I'm meant to draw. I keep myself completely out of it. These are not my thoughts, my ideas, or my opinions. This is strictly um, in the cards and in the stars. I'm just the interpreter telling you what they say. Um, so please don't hate the messenger. It could be a good message. It could be a bad message. You never know. But I'm going to be honest with you always, always, always and tell you what the cards say. Again, I'm only drawing the cards that are sticking up. Okay. First card, nine and three. Nine and three. So nine is in your chart. Remember we talked about complete. Nine is complete. Three is um, creativity. Your fire sign is two and three. So we have a happy ending. Yay, Aries, a happy ending. That's awesome. Next, we have 22. 22 is interesting because um, you have a two in your fire sign, but 22, intuition, trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. Hello, sir. Did you come for the reading today? Sir is my cat. Okay, five and seven. Five, there's that change. And seven coming through from that personal growth. Teaching and learning. Um, so not just, you know, telling everyone what you know, but learning what other people know too. And then 19. 19, the beginning of the end. Karma coming in. But this also for me, I'm a Leo, so this represents family. So pride within yourself, I think, is where this one's going within oneself, because on your chart, it literally says right there, self, okay? So this is more about you. And then we have four and four, which is um, environment. So this is what's going on around you. This is what's happening with you right now in the chart. We have four, which is the month. We have four in the date, which is the 14th. So we have two fours. So representing that's what's going on right now. 
And then we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five cards in total. Five cards in total, so five representing that change. This is all the change that has been happening. Okay, so things were not going well. They're going to start getting better. You're going to start trusting yourself more. You're um, doing better with learning uh, from other people as well as letting them know what you know and learning what others know. Um, you've been working on your sense of pride a lot. And then um, with this environment, this is kind of the perseverance. This is what you've been going through. All right, so the next we're going to come in real hard and strong with the tarot deck. Hopefully we can keep this going, keep this recording going. Um, I apologize for going so quickly, but my phone just doesn't want to record for some reason. I need to get a new phone, but until that happens, oh, we had one card just kind of jump out. So we'll leave that one out and then pull the rest of these. I can feel I've got like one, two, three cards sticking. Can you guys see that? There's one, two, three cards, but they're barely sticking up. But I can feel them. Ah! That one didn't want to come out. Where was the other one at? Oh, vanished on me. Okay, that happens. That happens. Okay, first card we have right off the bat, we have the Nine of Cups, that Nine coming in again from uh, Mars. What's driving you? Satisfaction. So um, complete emotions, you're, you're going on complete emotions. That's what's been driving you. Um, wanting or needing satisfaction but you know what um getting to that point because that's falling under happy ending so that's really good next we have the seven of cups here comes in your personal growth seven of cups so um your personal emotions delusions interesting that's really interesting so this is falling under intuition so with this intuition where it's saying delusions don't let other things influence you don't um don't let it fool you because um the thing about it is with this change this emotional change this relationship change i kind of feel like you were delusional and you are no longer um starting to trust your instincts on this and definitely do that and see things for what they are next we have the six of pentacles six came in twice for you aries um, for today, with Aries, today being five, because um, one and four breaks down to five, and then five plus one is six. So six being an emotional time for you. Um, generosity, generosity, being there, being the caretaker right now. See, Aries, you're usually the one that gets cared for, and now you're having to be the caretaker in a sense. That's bringing in this teaching and learning aspect. That's really interesting. Okay, next we have the Two of Wands, two coming in again from your fire sign. What is the change in action? Wands is, is action. So this is the change in action, having to make decisions. Decisions, and this is falling back again on you and yourself and your ego. Having to make decisions. Having to make decisions and not putting yourself first, putting others before you. So, yeah. Next we have Nine coming through again, the Hermit, introspection. So again, this is what's been driving you is you kind of um, having to be this hermit, but you know, that doesn't work for Aries. Aries is a social butterfly. They need to fly. They need to be able to, you know, spread their wings and be social and show off that it's a necessity. So this hermit part of things has not been working well for you, but you're coming out of that. And that's what's good. And lastly, we have 10 karma, the wheel changes. And remember, I wrote changes on your chart. Changes, lots of changes. Emotional change, relationship change, adventure, five and five, change upon change. That's an adventure in and of itself, like a roller coaster. The more flips and turns it does, right? The more the cart changes in its 
consistency, the more um, scary, but yet um, thrilling the ride is, obviously. So sometimes, you know, all those flips and turns can turn your world upside down, but eventually you're going to come out ahead to this happy ending. So that's all this roller coaster ride, all this emotional relationship change stuff. Um, and then with you working through it, becoming a calmer, more patient spirit, personal growth, this uh, hermit time gave you time um, for introspection. And that's helped you in a sense, drove you crazy, but it's helped you. Okay, and then today's all about five and six. So it's about love and change and 11 individuality. So the individual changing um, emotionally, we have one, two, three, four, five, we have six cards. So this is the emotional change you've gone through. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, this is the emotional change you have gone through. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in the Oracle, trying to get through this at light speed, because we don't know how much time we have. This might be the fastest reading I've ever done in my life. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's get these shuffled. Now, remember, Aries, this is a general read. It's not going to fit absolutely everybody, nor should it. Um, it's just kind of in general. If you guys want a more personal uh, reading, I do them for free. It's free. Yes, I said free. It's not a joke. It's not a gimmick. It's not a trap. You don't have to give me any information. All I need is a first name, whatever you go by. It doesn't even have to be your real name. But, you know, um, whatever connects to you and, and your sign. And then um, I do a meditation, I do your numerology, I do your astrological chart, and then we do a live um, Google Duo video read where you can see everything I'm doing just like this. You see all the cards, just like I'm doing right now, but it's private between you and I, and it's no charge, and I do it to put good out in the world and help people that need it. So if you want one, comment below, let me know. Um, also, I'm going to flash at the end of this um, or I should probably do it before I run out. Um, if anyone wants a free reading, quick, 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 grab a pen, pause it, okay, text this number, right, and then you can get in on that deal. Okay, so pulling that card, pulling that card, and we have one more card. Okay. Oop, see that one sticking up right there? Can everybody see it? Can you see it? There's one that wants out. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so then we have whew, four and two, mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Yours to live, okay? So if you look closely at this, um, blue lips, um, she's kind of not really, and kind of hazed over eyes, kind of been sort of like, almost like dead for a while, like not really living. Uh, not a bright spirit. Um, things have been a little bit muddled. Coming back. Um, this is about coming back. Living. Um, life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So needing to come back and be that butter social butterfly again. Um, four and two. A six. Coming back again to emotional. Perseverance and patience. Uncertainty, 39, creative, complete, 12, not to 3, choose who you will become. Oh, well, okay, thank you, sir. Um, choose who you will become. So again, talking about this change coming through, you've manifested this change. Um, this is interesting. God, there's so much here, and I just don't have time to get into it. Um, this really has a lot to do with everything you've been going through. This emotional change, this relationship change is definitely within, within yourself. Um, two and nine, this is about you. Yeah, absolutely. Finding the lesson, the lesson, remember what it talked about, the lesson, teaching and learning, teaching and learning, discover the purpose in the situation, trust that you are learning. Okay. Trust that you are learning, and you are, you have. That's why you have this happy ending coming up. Trust in your instincts. And then we have one. Oh, well, see, Aries, there you are, right there. You showed up. One. Remember? Aries. One. That's you. 
So here you are. Okay. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. All in the golden afternoon. So you have to be you. You have to be you, Aries. And don't let other people pull the wool over your eyes and don't let people bully you and control you. Um, you know, this emotional change, this relationship change, everything that's been going on, this teaching and learning, all of the introspection has all been for the best. It's like um, everything is meant to be sort of thing. And you have to remember that. Sorry, we had an ambulance go by. Okay, so now we have a total of one, two, three, four. So four, this is definitely what you've been persevering through. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 cards in total. 14. 14. Right there. So that was the message you were meant to get today Aries so thank you for showing up to your reading um, this was a very quick quick read through and if you would like a long in-depth reading again just text the number um, it is right there if you would like to and uh, please comment below and let me know how this resonated for you Aries and um, you know be sure to like and subscribe to my channel um, that's important to get the free reading. You must like and subscribe. And then um, feel free to comment and be honest, but be nice and don't use foul language. But you can be honest. Um, you don't have to agree with me. I'm absolutely okay with that. Challenging conversations are my favorite. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will do another Aries video um, for next month. So keep an eye out for that. Bye.